Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, November 26, 2022. It's 10.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States and Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today, my anxiety levels are very high. I'm feeling overwhelmed by all the things that I have to do. Um, my paranoia is very strong. My, my delusions are very strong. I haven't gone outside yet today to do my daily walk and physical therapy exercises for my right knee that I had surgery on on May 13th. Um, I am scared to go out because I think people are following me, spying on me, plotting against me, organizing against me. Um, I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not violent or su suicidal. I just feel like I have a lot to do. I'm overwhelmed. My auditory hallucinations are very intense. My depression is very strong. My anxiety levels are very, very high. I feel very, very agitated. Um, I don't want to go outside. But I'm going to anyways. Um, I just also feel overwhelmed. I have to do a lot of shopping for my medicines, um, my personal items. I have to go pick up some prescriptions. Um, I have appointments I have to keep. Um, I have to clean my apartment. I managed to clean the living room today. I haven't gotten to the kitchen and the bathroom yet. Um, but I feel anxious and agitated by all the things that I have to do. It seems like I'm never done doing all the things that I have to do. And I just feel really, really, really agitated. Not very comfortable at all. Um, I did get some sleep last night. Insomnia has been sort of a problem. Um, I've been waking up at 4.30, 5.30 in the morning, which is a little bit earlier than I usually do. Um, I've basically been able to sleep through most of the night. Um, sometimes I'll wake up at 2.30 a.m. and I'll be able to fall back to sleep in 15 or 20 minutes. The main reason I have to get up in the middle of the night, of course, is to use the bathroom. Um, and my medications are usually enough to let me fall back to sleep again. I do take Klonopin at night time, half a milligram. Um, I also take 600 milligrams of Seroquel at night, plus um, Cyprexa, 10 milligrams, and a few other medications that I have to take at night. They usually help me sleep through most of the night, even if I wake up in the middle of the night. Insomnia has not been as much as a problem as it was last year. Um, my insomnia seems to have decreased since I started taking a morning dose of Cymbalta, which I'm actually taking for physical pain, but it is an antidepressant and it does seem to help with my sleeping, um, even though I take it in the morning. Um, but it's, it has, of course, also helped with the physical pain, anxiety, and depression. Um, but like I said, today's not a very comfortable day for me. I feel very agitated, very paranoid, overwhelmed, and uh, just generally angry and disgusted by all the things that I have to do. Um, seems like I never get a moment's rest. I did do my work on my computer today. I'm making this video as part of my daily schedule. I haven't been making videos every day. I'm going to try to get back to putting out at least one video per day. Um, tomorrow is Sunday. The weather today is not all that bad. Um, but it is November. It's going to start getting colder and windier. And eventually it's going to snow here in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. We really haven't been hit by a snowstorm yet, like Buffalo, New York, was hit by a snowstorm last week, or earlier this week. 
Um, there's no snow on the ground at all in Rochester. Um, but eventually it will start snowing again. And that aggravates my paranoia, depression, anxiety, delusions, and auditory hallucinations. Um, I'm seeing my peer support specialist on Wednesday. Um, so I'm seeing my therapist the week after that. Plus I'm seeing my psychiatrist that same week in early December. And we'll be going over all my meds. Um, but generally I feel like crap today. I feel like I never get a moment's rest, and I just feel real, really, really overwhelmed and really, really agitated. But like I said before, I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not violent, and I'm not suicidal. I don't want anybody to think that I would do anything to myself or anyone else.